Hi, folks, and uh, welcome to Time to Shine. Hey, hon, um, I know you're a Team Aquarius supporter, but you kind of look like a gangster. You're kind of scaring me, though. Can you go over that way a little bit? Like, you're getting a little too intense here. I know you're a Team Aquarius supporter. Anyways, folks, how, welcome to Time to Shine. And I finally got all the gardens done, so I thought that I'd give you guys a little bit of a show today. I've worked really hard, so you guys all deserve to see it. As you can see here, the sunflowers are doing really well. Here's one. This is just one little garden, folks. You can see everything's doing quite well there's carrots tomatoes corn in here there's beets in here there's peppers in here and i think these are marigolds there's beans in here here's some of the perennials they're doing quite good as you can see things are getting ready to flower here folks we'll go over to the strawberry patch here and see if there's any strawberries here yet uh folks oh my back is killing me but is there any strawberries in here? I don't know. I don't know if there's any strawberries in here yet, folks. Oh, yes, there is. Oh, yes, there's strawberries. They're coming, Rock. They're coming. Oh, look at the size of that one. Oh, that's pretty nice. Are they coming? Oh, yes, they're coming. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, they're coming. They're coming, folks. Oh, we'll go over here and look. Let's see if there's any more coming. Oh, yeah, they're coming. Oh, yes, folks. Oh, yeah, they're all coming. So the strawberries, everything's coming, folks. Uh, this is the first day that I got done. We'll, we'll move along to the next garden here, folks. As uh, you can see, all the burnt tomato plants are fine. I got peas already in cages already because no sense fooling around, folks. The peas can be a real pain in the, pain in the butt. There's a patch of bean here, folks. These, remember, these are only two days old. Um, these peas are not very much older. I've already uh, staked them all ready. Caged them, whatever you want. That's a pretty little butterfly, eh? Lettuce, folks. The perennials here. Very on going into flower here, folks. Already doesn't usually go into flower till July. We'll take a quick, we'll, we'll take a look around here a little bit, folks. As you can see, everything's doing. This is metal sage, folks. Not even for this area. People said it wouldn't grow here. It's came back for two years, so I can't believe everything everybody says. You just do your own little thing. And here's some tomatoes I put in. They're getting pretty large already. Already higher than this, almost high as the stakes already, folks. And, and this is my wife. I know my wife's an Aquarius supporter, but can you please go over there? You're scaring me. And we'll go over here, folks. It's been so hot here. Look at all this dead grass. But look at all the clover I put in here, folks. Helps the bees and everything. Mixed with the grass. It's kind of really nice. And we'll go over here. This is a, a, a hybrid uh, wild daisy. Instead of white, it'll be yellow. I put it in last year because I thought it was neat because you don't usually see them. And we'll just go. This is another variant in flower here, folks, which is really strange. Pin roses are getting ready to flower. Um, we got brown eyed Susans come up. They don't usually come up till July. They're already up. Look at this. The size of this monster variant. Look at the flowers on it, though. Aren't... Here's another thing, folks. Uh, the Rose Hill Beetle that's from the US is now in Canada. For some reason, it's attracted to this plant, and then it, and then they die, which is really strange. I'll explain that in another video. This is a plant for honeybees. I forget the name of it. This is a pink phlox, another variant. And then we'll start showing you some. Here's a few peas and already uh, in a cage. Tomato plants already in a cage, as folks. Onions are doing quite well. Everything's doing quite well. It, it just, I just got done today putting everything in. You can see, like, it's been, been pretty tough, really. It's been so hot. I just put these cucumber sprouts in the other day. They're already up. There's some bee balm in here, and there's some raspberry plants in here. Then we'll go to the hill here, folks. There's, there's pumpkins in here, and they will be big giants very shortly. Here's a the garden I put in today, folks. Just put this garden in today. And I added everything today. These are all from seed. These sunflowers are all from seed, folks. There's more beets in here as well. It's not up yet. It's all from seed. Here's a, here's, here's a little joke for you. Potato plant and a flower in that pot with those big sprouts. Oh! By the way, wild edibles. Um, can you show me how to plant a seed? I really don't know. I don't think I know how. 
And uh, when you plant your lemon balm, when you heat it, uh, when it beat up, I think he burned your lemon balm. Cause it's not here. I'm so sorry about that, edibles. He shouldn't have done that. It wasn't very nice. But anyways, we'll come back here. Rhubarb's already back already, folks. I've cut off it three times already. These are some of my tomatoes and cucumbers and squash. More tomatoes and European squash. Corn that's been in a couple days. Look how nice it's coming already, folks. Coming pretty nice. This is called a white potato tomato. It's a cross between a potato plant and a tomato plant. Isn't that neat, folks? And there's hybrid brown Susans back there. These are zucchini and squash. Folks, there's habits in here. They're getting pretty big already. Lots of tomatoes in this garden as we move along. Everything's starting to grow, folks. I'm really tired, so I'm getting slower as we're walking. Sorry about that. But as you can see, everything's doing quite nice. There's poppies coming up here, folks. That's another cone. That's a cone plant. It's a white one that's coming up. I'll give people a nice shot of this uh, of this purple iris. It's almost done flowering. It's almost four feet high. It's up to my up to my chest, folks, already. And we'll show you my other little corn garden here. You don't need a big piece of property to produce. Look at the how thick the stalks are on those corn already. There's no seedling corn. And that's just the right just remember, you just gotta have the right amount of nitrogen. And lots of water for for corn and tomatoes. And beans and peas. Lots of water. Here's a full adult iris, almost done flowering. Isn't that beautiful? It's almost done. Here's another bean patch. It's only been up for two days. That's a wild onion. But anyways, folks, I'm really tired. So we're gonna go to the front yard now and we'll show you a little bit. Like, no problem. That's a, oh, by the way, that's a different kind of mint. That is ginger mint, a little bit more spicier than chocolate. I only have a small patch of it, but it did come back. So, oh, I'm, I'm, I'll try to, uh, these are peonies. I haven't had it flower in two years because there was no ants, but it's gonna be bright purple pink this year. It's usually pink. It's gonna be bright pink this year. Anyways, there's a tomato plant too that was burnt from, burnt from the sun and it's already back. Anyways, go to the front. We'll do a, little, a quick look there. Yes, I'm out of breath, folks. I'm really tired today. And we'll take a look and see what's going on out here. We're inside of that sunflower already, folks. Week old, pretty nice for a week old, eh? And we'll show you the potato garden here, folks. It's uh, coming along pretty good. See how everything's healed properly, just like a farmer would do. You would see in a farmer's field. And then I left the space so I could walk in the middle here, folks. As you can see, when I garden, folks, I garden. I just started. These are some late seasons of mine I put in. But you can see they're gonna be big awful quick. Oh, excuse me. I put in gates for the cats. These are beets I just put in. Two days ago, they're already up. Tomatoes, marigolds, turnips, coming up everywhere. More corn, sunflowers, and more sunflowers, and some more perennials. And that's just a quick re review today, folks. Oh. I have so much chicken manure in here. These sun chokes grew over the toilet. I had to clear a path out. See? And that's bee bond in there. And I had to clear a path out because look, look, look how high these are. Some of them are four feet high because of the manure. Like, I actually had to clear a path. And look, I'll home in closer for you. And look at the ones growing inside the straight manure, eh? It, it's already over top of some, it's already killing some of my perennials. So I have a lot of work to do here yet, folks. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys this. Here's that, my wife's rose. I, I bought her 10 years ago. And people said it was gonna die. It's a miniature, look, look at all the flowers coming. And this is 10 years old. Look at them all. Look, look at them coming. Is, oh, and that white spit, if you wanna know what that is, that's baby grasshoppers, if you want, want to know what that is. But anyways, folks. 
that's my video today and it's boom time baby go team aquarius go what do you got to say honey we love you all thanks love you all have a good night